Today I'm at Ferrari Maserati of Long Island to check out the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series as well as a few other cool cars. So let's go check them out. We have one Benz, two Benzes, three Benzes, four Benzes, and a fifth Benz, the 2021 Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. Continuing a tradition established in 2006, this is the sixth Black Series model and the fastest series production car on the Nürburgring racetrack. Black Series models are exclusive automotive rarities. They're the most powerful, raw, track-focused, and rare AMGs you can get. Starting at $325,000, the GT Black Series is the brand's most powerful road car and the top bends in terms of performance until the AMG AMG 1 arrives. The AMG GTR is an impressive machine, but the Black Series treatment moves this GT closer to the performance level of the GT3 race car. The V8 engine in the AMG GT was already a great engine with its excellent drivability, power delivery, and torque progression, but the engine specialists at AMG have once again extensively further developed the tried and true bi-turbo V8 unit to push the boundaries even further. So it has a handcrafted 4-liter V8 bi-turbo engine with dry sump lubrication that makes 720 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. This car can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.1 seconds and 0 to 124 miles per hour in less than 9 seconds, and it can reach a top speed of 202 miles per hour. Power is sent to the rear wheels through a 7-speed AMG SpeedShift dual-clutch automatic transmission. The engine actually has a new flat and lighter crankshaft with crank pins on one plane and this engine has a new firing order with 180 degree crankshaft angle offset so the order goes 1, 8, 2, 7, 4, 5, 3, 6. And this allows for a more agile throttle response. The new engine's 7,200 RPM redline is 200 RPM higher than the AMG GTR's engine. This car has a pair of bigger turbochargers that deliver up to 24.6 PSI of boost. It also has new camshafts and exhaust manifolds and a new twin pipe exhaust system made of thin walled stainless steel. The GT Black Series is extremely special because in 2020, it became the fastest road legal production car around the famed Nürburgring racetrack with a lap time of 6 minutes and 43 seconds. So it beat the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ by 1 second and the Porsche 918 Spyder by 14 seconds. It's important to know that the time is 6 minutes and 43 seconds for the 12.8 mile long track and 6 minutes and 48 seconds for the 12.9 mile long total track. So this car is an absolute beast and basically the road car version of the GT3 race car. So this car is actually 77 pounds lighter than the AMG GTR and that's thanks to the fenders, 
the hood, and the tailgate being made of carbon fiber. Most of the cabin trim is carbon fiber as well, and you also have a carbon fiber roof with a sunken center. You also have a thinner front and rear windscreen. This car comes standard with the 10-spoke AMG forged wheels in matte black. They're 19 inches in the front and 20 inches in the rear. Before we discuss aerodynamics, let's first touch on suspension. So this car has coilover suspension suspension with AMG ride control adaptive adjustable damping. On the front and rear axle, you can actually manually adjust the camber and the anti-roll bars. And like you'd expect from a high performance track focused vehicle, the GT Black Series has carbon ceramic brakes with motorsport brake pads and discs that are optimized for fade resistance and temperature stability. So now let's discuss the aerodynamics. So just by looking at this car, you can tell it's extremely aerodynamically efficient. There's tons of scoops, vents, and intakes to keep the engine and brakes cool and to create downforce. The radio the grille is larger, and beneath it sits an extended front splitter that's big enough to require motorsport-style tension ties. So you kind of put your hands under this front splitter, and you pull it out, and then you attach the tension ties. On the carbon fiber hood, you have two large air outlets in glossy exposed carbon fiber. So air comes out of these outlets and gets pushed over the car to create downforce. You also have this air intake on the hood to help cool the engine. It kind of shows on camera, but in person you can really see just how long this front hood is. I mean, you could better see from the side just how front heavy this car is. I was sitting in it before just to check out the interior, which we're going to do shortly, and you've got so much hood in front of you. It just keeps going and going and going. In addition to the carbon fiber hood, another thing that came straight from Motorsport are the bearings on the upper and lower wishbones of the rear axle. Therefore, for this car delivers precise steering, clear steering feedback, and ideal cornering performance. You've got these air channels at the front corners of the car, as well as these canards. On the carbon fiber front fenders, you have these seamlessly integrated louvers that help create downforce and relieve pressure from the wheel wells. It's kind of hard to see, but behind the front wheel you have an opening to channel air along the side of the car, so it goes in right through there and then goes all the way back there. So you can see right here is where the air comes out and then it gets channeled along the side of the car and around to the back as well as back here. At the back of the car you have a black painted carbon fiber rear hatch and a massive two-tier rear wing. So this wing is actually manually adjustable. It's currently in its lowest setting but you can adjust it to the medium or the high setting. So when you're driving on the street you'll probably just keep it in the low setting but when you take it to the track, you're more likely to put it in the medium or the high setting. The entire rear wing is made of exposed glossy carbon fiber, and this piece here is actually active. So this flap is actually adjustable by 20 degrees, automatically or manually by button, depending on the selected drive mode or AMG Dynamics position, and it helps improve brake balance. So this piece will go up or down depending on your driving. So let's say you're braking really hard, this thing will go up and act as an air brake, but if you're trying to like go super fast without braking, it'll go down to help reduce drag. Just looking at this wing is absolutely crazy. You really have to see it in person to take it in. When I saw pictures of it when the car wasn't even out yet, I was so shocked at how big it is. It makes the AMG GTR's wing look so small. I mean, the two tiers are just absolutely insane. You could literally eat dinner off of this wing. You just just pull up to a fast food place, go through the drive-thru, park in the parking lot, put your burgers and fries on the wing, and dig in. So I told you guys this car creates tons of downforce. Peak downforce is actually more than 880 pounds at 155 miles per hour. So now let's discuss the spec. So this GT Black Series is actually painted, not wrapped. It's finished in brilliant blue magno or matte blue. It's a gorgeous color with some metallic sparkle. It looks amazing in the sun. You can see the blue metallic sparkle when I put my flashlight on the paint. 
I really love this color. It looks great with the matte black wheels and black brake calipers. And on the brake calipers, you have white lettering for AMG. This car is one of about 1,700 GT Black Series produced and one of about 400 in the United States. This car has just over 700 miles on it and it's for sale for $579,000 at Ferrari Maserati of Long Island. So if anyone's interested in this car, be sure to read reach out to Paul, the general manager here, and tell him I sent you. I want to point out just how much exposed carbon fiber this car has. It has tons of it. So I discussed that the front splitter is exposed carbon, and you have the two different settings. You have street and race. So this is the street setting, and then the race setting is when you pull it out and attach the tension ties. You've got exposed carbon on the hood on these two outlets, and then you have exposed carbon fiber mirrors, as well as is exposed carbon side skirts and the entire rear wing is exposed carbon fiber and you can see the adjustable flap is up right now at its 20 degree angle you also have an exposed carbon fiber rear diffuser look how good this looks with the quad exit exhaust and I can't forget to mention that the roof is also exposed carbon fiber. You've got the AMG branding on the left side and GT Black Series on the right side with the race flag. Such a cool logo. I could stare at the outside of this car all day long, but let's hop inside the car and take a look at the interior. Because this is a track-focused vehicle, Mercedes AMG saved as much weight as possible. They just covered the door panels in Dynamica, which is a microfiber that feels like suede. So not only the door panels, but the entire interior, including the steering wheel, and the seats with only a little bit of leather. You've got these nice orange accents on the door as well as this pull handle and your mirror and window switches. And this car is actually equipped with the Burmester high-end sound system which I can confirm sounds absolutely incredible. You've got the illuminated AMG door sills. You have the standard AMG performance seats with orange accents and actually markets other than the USA, Canada, and China had the option of carbon fiber bucket seats. Also outside the USA, Canada, and China, this car can be equipped with the optional AMG track package, which adds four point seat belts for the driver and passenger, a fire extinguisher, and a lightweight titanium rollover cage. So I just hopped in the driver's seat. You've got your engine start stop button right here. Look how cool this graphic is when it pops up. The Black Series graphic, that is so cool, with the aggressive looking Panamericana front grille. And here is your fully digital instrument cluster. So you've got your speedometer on the left that goes all the way up to 220 miles per hour. And then you've got your rev counter on the right side. And inside the rev counter is actually a G-force meter. How cool is that? If we press this again, you'll see that these come to life. So this is how you change your drive mode. You can change it on the steering wheel itself, or you can change it right here in the center control stack. So you just push it down for sport, and it shows you the changes on the infotainment screen. So sport plus and race. You can also see the different modes in the instrument cluster. You also have slippery and individual. On this side of the steering wheel, you can actually turn on or off the traction control without having to press it here. And you can also pull up the cameras. That's pretty cool. You can put it into manual by pressing this right here. So in which case you can just shift with the paddle shifters. You can adjust your suspension right here. So comfort, sport, sport plus. And you can turn off traction control by pressing this. You can put it into gear with this right here. And you have this touchpad to go through the infotainment system. So you've got climate control, dynamic select, track pace, 
This is only allowed to be used on racetracks, so you can log your track times in here. So as you can see, track race, drag race, telemetry. So if we click on track race, it allows you to record when you're at the track. On this side, you have your entertainment volume, eco start stop. This is where you raise or lower the flap on the rear wing. And then this last button opens the exhaust valves to make it louder. You've got matte carbon fiber trim and your nine stage traction control dial. Below that, you have your climate control functions and two cup holders, as well as a USB port. So if you're already familiar with Mercedes, this infotainment system is really easy to navigate. You've got media, radio, telephone, vehicle connect, and navigation. So it's very simple. And you use this small black touchpad to change the display in the instrument cluster. And then this one here changes what you see in the infotainment system. You've got the AMG logo on the leather console. You open that up, you have some storage space in there with some more USB ports. And you can actually put the key in right there to start the car if for some reason the engine start stop button doesn't work. And behind the seats you have this matte carbon fiber bar. And you actually have some storage back there. So I guess you could say this is a pretty practical car. And you can see from the inside of the car that the hatch is made of carbon fiber. So that was the 2021 Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, one of my dream supercars. It is just so awesome. Now let's take a look at some of the other cars here for sale at Ferrari Maserati of Long Island. You've got this lizard green Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Personally, I prefer it with the exposed carbon fiber hood that's part of the YSAC package. You've got these gold wheels, yellow brake calipers, and GT3 RS decal on the side, and Porsche written on the rear wing. I prefer this in exposed carbon as well and that's also part of the YSAC package. We've got the Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet Exclusive Series. The Exclusive Series has these exposed carbon fiber stripes and this golden yellow stitching on the interior. such a cool interior and you have these like golden yellow perforations in the seats and an exposed carbon fiber rear wing and it actually says exclusive series right there in addition to the exclusive series we have this huracan evo all-wheel drive huracan rear wheel drive and this 2016 Aventador Roadster in balloon white. Next to the iconic Aventador is a Ferrari SF90 Stradale in Rosso Corsa with silver wheels. As you can see, it's not for sale, but it's still nice to admire. We've also got a 488 Pista in Rosso Corsa. Now, I'm going to be honest here. I love the Pista and always will, but I've seen just way too many of them at this point to get excited over them. It's still an awesome track-focused car such a beast i love it but seeing them in red doesn't really excite me anymore at least rosso corsa because downstairs there's a rosso fuoco pista and it's so insanely gorgeous we're going to take a look at that shortly but behind this pista is an f8 tributo i want to show you so this one's painted in giallo modena and then they just put satin paint protection film over it to give it this satin yellow look i think it looks pretty good you really don't ever see satin yellow supercars or any satin yellow cars for that matter. You've got the black prancing horse back here, the twin turbo V8 engine that makes 710 horsepower, which is the same amount of power as you get in the Pista. This color is so bold and bright. It's not for me, not because it's bold and bright, but because I'm just not a huge fan of yellow, but it still looks good on this car. Next to it, we've got the new Mercedes S580. You gotta see this interior, guys. How luxurious is this interior? You got the pillows on the headrests. This car is all about comfort. The quilted stitching on the seats. I'm sure these seats massage you. And then you've got the digital instrument cluster screen and the infotainment screen. Such a streamlined, modern interior and I love 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 that it's red. You've got this wood veneer on the steering wheel 
as well as on the whole dash. Gorgeous interior. Next to that, we've got a two-tone Rolls-Royce Wraith. Such a classy spec. I love two-tone cars, especially Rolls-Royces and especially on the Wraith. Pretty simple white interior with some brown wood veneer. This is super cool. Green Hell Magno factory matte green paint job, AMG GTR Roadster. There's only 750 of them in the world. And this one's unique, not because of the green paint, but because of the interior. The interior is white. I've never seen a GTR with a white interior before. I mean, how cool is this? It's like a classy twist on a high performance vehicle. You've got carbon fiber at the front, as well as on the side here. It says V8 by turbo. You've got carbon mirrors, a carbon rear wing. What do you guys think of this spec? Do you like it or do you hate it? And then over here, we've got a luxury lineup, four Bentleys in a row with a Mulsanne, Continental GT convertible, another one and another one. We've got some more British cars, a McLaren GT and a beautiful Aston Martin DB11 in red. I was just taking photos of this Huracan Evo rear wheel drive and now we get to check out the interior. It's got the forged composites for the AC vents, the door handle, even in the middle here. That is a cost option. It looks amazing. I love these sport seats. They look so good in orange. <laughs> It's not exactly a cold start, but it still sounds good. They just drove it off the transport truck. Also outside is this Porsche 911 GT3 RS, all blacked out with yellow accents for the brake calipers. I hear something driving by. Oh, 488 Spider drove by. Blue Tour de France. And yellow back here. I love the clear taillights. Such an awesome track focused car. So here is the Rosso Fuoco Pista. Unfortunately, it sold. It sold in like a week, probably because this spec is so nice with the red paint. And then it has carbon fiber wheels, which is a costly option. They cost the just over 30 grand, yes. 30 grand for some carbon fiber wheels. Because I've seen so many Rosso Corsa pistas, it's so refreshing to see one in a color that's not Rosso Corsa. So even though this is still red, the paint is stunning, even more stunning outside. So I'm very happy to see it. Next to that, we've got a Rosso Dino Roma with a brown interior, which perfectly matches this. 599 SA Aperta, one of 80 in the world, currently for sale for $1.3 million. I actually did a video on this car a few months ago, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to go check it out. I was shocked when they got this car in because it's such a wild spec, and then they got in a matching Roma. It's just so interesting. Then we've got an F8 Spider, another Rosso Corsa Pista. You guys see what I mean now? 488, California, and a Luminaire Green 600 LT Coupe. I am in love with this spec. They're gonna clean it up soon and then I'll film it. What do you guys think of this color? With the orange accents, it's perfect and it has tons of exposed carbon. The entire back bumper here is exposed carbon fiber. How's this for a two car solution? The Ferrari 488 GTB and the Mercedes AMG G63, both in red with black wheels. What a great looking combo. So that was my visit to Ferrari Maserati of Long Island. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.